Welcome to another episode of Real Talk. My name is Nicole Asinabo, and today I am at Cause Restaurant, here to meet up with some people for another dose of Real Talk. Follow me. On today's episode, we have Brand and Marketing Director of BLD, Jeffrey Okbaleke, Fashion Designer and Image Brand Consultant, Zedai, and Award-Winning DJ, DJ Spinner. Hi. Hey. Hello. How's it going? We are all right. What y'all been talking about? You. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're kind of worried. Uh, what are you worried about? Oh, no, no, no. Question. Today is going to be just a chill conversation. Chill. Yeah, super mm. chill. So basically, today we're talking about exes. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. The oh, good, wow. the bad, and the ugly. Mm-hmm. Do you think that when you're in a new relationship, mm-hmm. it's a good idea to stay in contact with an ex? It depends. Some ex left my life you look as like you have mommy you water. <laughs> <laughs> Some ex left li- like a witch. <laughs> Those yeah, cannot stay in my life. Um, I mean, yeah. jokes aside, mm-hmm. some ex... They are quite, the the reason for the breakup was something that the both of you could not mm-hmm. actually control. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, in situations like that, you just have to, you know, say hi once in a while. Okay. But what yeah. about friendship? I feel like you can be friends with your ex, but as long as you have the willpower to let go yeah. of what you guys had then. You know? Okay. But do you think a friendship can ever be truly platonic with somebody you've been like intimate with? Sometimes you can be good friends with them, but you have to be the one to set the barriers, like he said. It has to be a line. And sometimes the, the other person might not want that. I don't mind every now and then a happy birthday, but there's no calling every day. How are mm. you? What's that? I should be the one getting the how are you and what's up. Got you. Basically, there was this girl and guy that in a relationship, and I'm really happy, but you know, the ex girlfriend kind of kept creeping into the situation you know she was always calling always Mm. texting and you know one time she had a flat tire you know she called him (laughs) and the girlfriend is like this is too much you know she is still so reliant on you and he's like he's coming from the perspective like you know first of all we were friends first before we started dating second of all she's heartbroken because i ended things with her and i'm just trying to help her adjust I think that sometimes most guys actually find joy in knowing that their exes yep. call them. It kind of gives you this, like, yeah, you know, like, I'm wanted. Or, oh, like, you know, or like, you know, no, no, I... I <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, before you shoot me down. I mean, I, first of all, I don't agree. I do not agree that it's, it's okay for, you know, my ex to be calling me when I'm in a relationship. I think that's very disrespectful. But then, in terms of good humanity, it's possible that she might be in need. And, you know, it's possible mm. that I'm just, I might just be the only one that can help by that point in time. In the whole the world, the world, there's so many guys in the world. Girl, was Why the they know that? You? It always boils down to keeping boundaries and yeah. knowing where to uh, yes. turn to. Uh, and, mm-hmm. you know and also when, friendship. Like, I'm already dating someone else, right? According mm-hmm. to the scenario. Yeah, yeah. So that is my friend right there. Like, yeah. yeah. If you're in a situation now, right, where yeah. your partner is very, like, feels a certain way about his ex. Not just like, oh, that ended, but more like, this girl can die if she wants, you know? I, ha- is that I knew a, is that, that feeling. Is that a indicator that you still have feelings? Yeah. Yep. You're still emotionally tied to that <clears throat> yep. person? Yep. Because if you had let go... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then That's they would the truth. Not have In to most cases, the reason why one party will be pissed off or the other person pissed mm-hmm. off mm-hmm. is because of... Ad break. The fact that he's moved on to somebody else kind of makes you realize, oh, this is what I lost. In most cases, it is my that... exes did not move on to anybody. They moved home. In my case, it's more like my partner's ex. They kind of like, they'll be told, I'm like, look, yeah. you know that. I'm sorry, you people dated a long time and get it. True. But now I'm here. Mm. She needs to respect that. Mm. So, yeah. Don't come out. You find out you're the rebound. Ah, I will leave. It's that simple. Because I can't be nobody's rebound. It's not possible. I can't. But you know, sometimes, sometimes, yeah. It's, like, I cannot. It's quite possible that you, you don't anticipate it. 
Mm. But then you find yourself in that situation whereby yeah. you are actually to be bound. But if you find out that you are, because we don't know sometimes what people's intentions are, mm. and then you just, it's easy, it's not by force. But it's not like because the guy will tell you, yes, honey, you're the I will know, you will just know. <laughs> Things like the ex name keep coming up, my ex, I don't understand, are we dating your ex? <laughs> why not dating your ex? So why does her name it's, keeps it's popping up? Things that really happen in relationship, mm -hmm. they're sometimes not so easy to verbalize yeah. into mm -hmm. words like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in a case like you just mentioned, if you're the person being used as a rebound. Sometimes it's therapeutic. So, so, yeah. so, sometimes also, sometimes. sometimes you just want to find out where it's all leading to. Mm. Not instantly mean? make decisions. Mm -hmm. what do you How do you mean? To date someone, that means you're into the person. Yeah. So it's not so easy to, bye bye, I'm the rebound. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You always want to try to be there. I mean, I can speak, you know, we guys were very caring. Oh, yeah. And in most cases, not all guys. What's this union? <laughs> like, you in most cases, we always union. try to, like, yo, babe, what is going just on? Union. You're still in love with your ex. Would you date your friend's ex? No. There's some lines I don't cross. Wow. My friend's ex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there yeah. one that you fancy? No, 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 no. The way I, the way I see these ex situations is quite different from how other people see it. Okay. Especially when you're not, when you're at a certain age, mm -hmm. it's, it's a different ball game. Mm -hmm. When you're like in your teens, 17, it's a true. different Yeah, game. true, true, true. At my age, mm -hmm. I'm looking for a real lifetime partner. Like, yeah. So what she's been through in the in past, past does past. not define who she is going forward. Yeah. Yeah. So, but also uh, your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's dicey. Yeah. So you do, you, do you know Goodman Tyre? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, come on, my friend. Yeah. It just leaves that. The lines you don't yeah. cross. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I agree because, like you said, if you were 17, 18, 19, you obviously know that there's a certain kind of yeah. way you behave. You behave. Because you're, you're kind of like, uh, what's it called? Um, just playing free. Around, yeah, yeah, free. You're, you're, you're only just wow. Yeah. yeah. So you, you, you would even, you would even make cards. laws that are not even like within like your boy, your guy code. Like yeah. if you need to take a serious, that means yeah. she know, she know, she know. In fact, your friends will be. So, it's to get you there, like, like you know, yeah, obviously, like you know, like she, she, I mean, she was in Redeemer's, she was in back up, <laughs> and she's come to Lagos, you know, and you know, you know, like I she stayed in my house, the and then the, the girl was not thinking, like, okay, you know what, she never took that serious because obviously she came from one of these places, what and you can run away from what's going to happen. Sometimes you just have to weigh the scale, like you said. How friendly are you? You know, mm. because in this Lagos, everybody's so friends. Everybody's friends. Friend, you know? yeah, yeah, are you a yeah. close friend? Yeah. Or are you, you know, an acquaintance kind of friend? Because if yeah. you're an acquaintance kind of friend and then I meet a guy who used to date a long time ago, yeah. I'm not going to be like, oh my God, no. Yeah. They used to date. Yeah, yeah that's what yeah. I, yeah. I, I said. It's, it's different. What I said it's, it's, it's well. different yeah. because yeah. you have some friends who you guys have done everything together. Yeah. Like you know them since high school. That's why, I'm like, you know them now. You've told them so many things about yourself, even yeah. probably about your spouse or your girlfriend or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, it would always, it, there's no man on the earth, trust me. That will not have that hint of. We decided to take real talk to the streets. Can I date my friend's ex girlfriend? Uh, no, I can't. No. It's against the bro code. You don't date your friend's ex. Mm -mm. Um, because it's wrong, it's like a betrayal. Love does not look at faces. It's not my fault that I fell in love with my friend's ex. Oh, I can't date my friend's ex because, one, she's going to think that I probably liked her ex while she was dating him. That kind of thing. And it's a girl code. You don't date your friend's ex. You date someone else outside your friend's circle. Yeah, I can be friends with my ex, yeah. If you let go, you get to experience life more because leaning in too much gets you back. So letting go is good. If you're done and you feel it's not working out, we could be friends. I and my ex, we can still be normal friends. We're not lovers again. I'm sorry. It's too late. Ah, that episode is over. What about gifts from the ex? Is it okay to keep gifts from a previous relationship? It depends on what it is. Hmm. If it's Rolex, my man. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's engraved with his love and blah, 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 I think I'll find a way to get rid of it. So it's cool? Gifts gift from the ex? Something very funny happened to me. Like, my, my, my ex bought me, like, the, the briefs. Mm -hmm. But these briefs were really funny because they're, like, purple. 
Okay. Right, and they were like, like a bit silky kind of ish. Okay. Can we climb? No, 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 no. Trying to get it out of my head. They they look like like swimming trunks. Okay. But they were swimming trunks. So my 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 girlfriend sees them and she's like, That's you. Okay, the current girl. Yeah, she's like, what? You know, what's this? What's going on? I'm like, Did you tell her that it was a gift from your ex? I did actually. And I did. I, her countenance immediately changed. Like, mm. and then I'm like, baby, no. I think you know. First of all, women are more emotional than men, right? So he might just be seeing these briefs like, oh, they're really comfy, you know. Yeah. But I think a woman who keeps gifts, tell me if I'm wrong, depending on how the gifts were given, mm. she might see that gift as a reminder of the guy. So mm. it's not necessarily about. The whatever the gift it's kind of like about the sentiment behind it mm. so maybe this guy is literally just i like the briefs i like the way it makes me feel that but a girl however like if you kept <laughs> some things you're keeping things from that relationship yeah. okay uh-huh. do you agree with this there's this theory that people who stay in contact with their exes mm-hmm. and do so as a backup so in case their current relationship doesn't work out they can kind of go back there first of all I feel like if you actually keep in touch with your ex and you have that mentality, you know what's my time. Mm-hmm. Mm. Dumb. It's that, 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 that's it. And I, I see a lot of women are quick to hide that part of them. Like they're so afraid that they don't want to be heartbroken that they make decisions that would ultimately mess make, mess them up. Mm. You know, guys, as a guy, one thing I want, I always want in my life is I want a woman that has my back. Yep. Because the guy is, is mad enough that you're in Lagos and you're going through a lot of things and you're hustling and doing all that stuff. All you can ask for is somebody who you can trust and who has your back. Mm-hmm. What any other kind of characteristic you have, we can we, we can we can deal with that. But as long as you're faithful and you have my back, I won't ask for anything else. I'm ready for the world. If your girlfriend or your boyfriend gave you an ultimatum, I don't want you talking to your ex. I gave that, so I don't mind taking it too. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you would say. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that. Like, like so it's always <coughs> nice that you can't dish out what you cannot do. So you yeah, say, I don't, yeah. I don't mind. I'll be like, I don't, if it's too much, mm. and I know that that person has this big touch for you, mm-hmm. and you're so sweet and gullible, and you always go, oh, because we've been together for so long. I don't care. Mm-hmm. Let her calm down. Let her move mm-hmm. on. Then you guys can see and be civil and cordial. But I know she has a problem you moving on yeah. already, mm-hmm. even with the fact that there was space yeah. before the fabulous me came in the picture. Mm-hmm. So, oh don't God. talk, I won't talk. Ultimate Everybody will be fine. Yeah. If you're dating someone right now and they're not comfortable with you talking to your ex, with you doing, I mean, fuse other certain things in that regards, you just have to listen mm-hmm. if you really want the relationship to prosper. Yeah. But if it's a case where she's actually the witch that's about to be the ex, yeah. <laughs> then you don't have to listen. No. <laughs> you like, you get, so, yeah. so. Also, I feel like Sometimes, also, maybe sometimes can also push people to like do things they don't want to do. Because sometimes some people don't like to feel like they're held down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think it's also like gender specific because, I mean, for men, sometimes, like, when a, when a woman tells him, I don't want you talking to that girl, sometimes it's like, I, 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 I like the fact that my girlfriend is jealous, but sometimes, like, it's like crazy. Mm. It's borderline crazy. It's, it's very tricky. So, me, I, I always believe that. The best way to go about these things, just tell them one time, I don't like this thing you're doing. If they don't That's listen it. to you, yeah. Yeah. and maybe you, you, you hint again, I'm not very comfortable with it. And they're still like, oh, and there's nothing. Because you know, sometimes some women, they get so carried away and like, oh my God, it's nothing, we're just friends. I've heard people tell me something about how, oh, his babe told him that, and this guy just friends, like they've been friends for a very long time, blah, 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 blah. blah. They're cool, don't worry about anything. Mm. The guy too will be like, hmm, 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 hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Guy, we know guy, we know yeah. as guy they do. I'm going to tell you, say, make you no worry about the guy. Then you say, you can say, no, no, you don't go worry then. <laughs> then wait, no, wait, no. Somebody will go off with you. Because they say, I'm sorry, you made a mistake, please forgive me. Mm-hmm. And then you look at it, God punish you. <laughs> the day where I did here, where I open my mouth, tell you, say, make you behave yourself. You oh carry my your God. big head. For me, oh my God, this person is making me happy. Uh-huh. Then you're telling me you love me. So, why, so, so, why do you feel like it, this happened to you? No. Like, God, now, when the, pigeon, when the pigeon comes out, you know it's Oh real. my God. <laughs> <laughs> We need to be frank. Yeah, yeah, it's real talk. We're all in yeah, yeah, situations whereby it's we would have played with our intelligence. Yeah. And then, God, as God be God who he is, we would have exposed mm-hmm. one thing. We, you don't even believe, say, you go see this kind of thing. No, Baba just the quotes Bible says. You don't walk out. You walk out. As God be God, I mean. You don't walk out. It's true. Because what is, what is I like this guy, man. What is he doing will be revealed? Mm. It's what the word says. Mm-hmm. So, 
Jesus. What do you think? Where you walking to it? Paraphrase. You played Jesus Wept. Wow. Oh my God. So what do you know what I'm saying? So you 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 Jesus Wept. I feel like it's true though. So isn't it safer to not be friends with the ex? Yes. It carries a lot of respect. Yeah. It carries a lot of respect. Family gatherings. Yeah. Because because sometimes some of us when you have alcohol in your system. Mm -hmm. you, like, and you guys have a history yeah. it was of just what? Drink. Of his I history don't know why I was good time. Yes. It just you know? And then you're chilling and that line of it was they are not relevant. Mm. And they are relevant. We went to you not see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It didn't mean anything you're the one. Hell no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's okay. just I think also that is where you should have Kind of like handle the conversation with an ex that could lead to you something. Yeah. If you don't mm -hmm. want to lie to yourself, mm -hmm. we all have the ex that you know that it's man. Never gonna. If I hang out with Vanessa, probably. <laughs> I hope that's not her real. Do you understand? Like, <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. Like, I. We all know that. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Everybody who makes any mistake with the ex made a conscious decision to make that mistake. Thank yes. you. From Thank the day you. You, you, you started talking to the ex to the day that it happened. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You've already like, said You've this. already said in your mind that, like, you know what, yeah, this is so comfortable for me. So I'm going to go with the flow. Yes. You, your ex and God yes. knows that you've been deceiving yes. whoever the person yes. is. That yes. yourself, for the person who is over there. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, I always feel like the word love is thrown around carelessly. Yep. Mm. Because you never really know how much you love someone until... In a situation. That, that kind of situation. Mm -hmm. And I realized that, you know what, yeah, if I love this person, I should respect them. Thank you. I love them, I should be faithful. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, it only takes a woman who, a man who has strength, mm -hmm. you to know, say above nah. that, to say, do you know what, yeah, this is really wrong, I don't appreciate it. And if you push it, I'll let my boyfriend know. And that other person who is like still trying to get to you, mm -hmm. and now say, actually, She's right. She's right. She's and right. then, and then he, he will not back off. We don't need to give the leeway. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said. Right. And then your boyfriend will not feel so comfortable. Your, your spouse will feel so comfortable. Yeah. Like knowing that, okay, I can actually trust this girl with yes. these kind of things. Yes. And he can relax. I and I start feeling like, you know what, if she's talking to other people, maybe I should talk to other people too. Mm -hmm. I think I feel myself I feel like so good. If, if individual have been kind of like honest mm -hmm. about the real the feelings, truth yes. about their ex, yes. there will be no problem. Yes, yeah. you're right. Exactly. If you could send a text, to your ex. Choose Which one? one. Choose the most special ex. Um, what would you say? I always thought you were a dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, to my exes that I didn't do well enough, mm -hmm. I just wish you gave me more time to kind of like get it right. Get it right. Mm. And I really wish I really got it right. But I wish you all the best, all the same. Oh, all this now. Mm -hmm. The for the witches and wizards, <laughs> just know, okay. for every of those madness that you put me through, <laughs> like, do, do you, how do you sleep at night? You, you don't see me in your dreams? No, bro, they watch, they watch Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> so don't, don't go there. That's not good there, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> really Yo, it's crazy, man. Okay. <laughs> this is funny. I mean, like, I would definitely just say happily, uh, like, happily ever after. Like yeah, I see so you when like, I see you. Exactly. I, 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 I believe <laughs> so it, 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 it can always mean that I'm, I'm, ha I'm happy in my relationship. I moved on. And I wish you the best. It can always mean that, you know what, yeah, maybe you moved on. I wish you the best. So it's happy to be after. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. You're thank you so much. It was so much fun. Maybe she had more time it. to add, go. Add yeah, yeah, time. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to join the conversation, please drop a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and please follow us on all social media platforms at Ndani TV.